Hi, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. We do weekly video tutorials, blog posts, and live streams. Today we're going to talk about GitHub and should you use it. If you want to follow us further and get any of our future updates, follow us in these channels here. So let's step in, let's talk through it and see what it's all about. See you in a second. Right, so we're here to talk about GitHub and everything around it. Um, GitHub was founded in 2008, actually. And as you can see here on the screen, I'm just looking at um, what's come up. It has uh, four pillars, and um, four pillars that the founders decided which were important, I'd say, which helped develop some of the open source community as well and facilitate a lot of the good work that they've done, is basically host repositories, version control. It also does collaboration and bug tracking. That's actually quite an important thing um, with any development if you're working on data analytics, that you're able to actually manage the code, manage how it's basically tracked and any bugs with it. And a lot of the open source community actually were able to quickly uh, develop some of the new projects and new coding and new um, software that um, quickly got it out and it would describe it as an agile um, um, basically an agile uh, type uh, piece of work. And the when basically posted up in GitHub, is able to get feedback and people are able to fix and resolve things. And then it became a collaborative community and grew. So as a result, it went to, as the moment now, it just recently was on the website um, and has 56 million developers, 3 million organizations and 100 plus million repositories. As a result, about 10 years later, I think with 2018, Microsoft um, Corporation um, decided to buy the um, company. They obviously valued the work that they had done and the contribution they made to the development community and everything around that. So let's move on to the next stage and just start seeing some of its benefits and what productivity you could get out of it. So uh, you're considering using GitHub and you want to see what the benefits or what the productivity gains you might get out of it. So the first area we're going to look at is collaborative coding. So with uh, collaborative coding, you could do code reviews and team discussions. Also, you can request review from multiple reviewers, and then you can build and test within the cloud environment, and that allows for debugging and fixing problems. Another area that you could look at is uh, automation, and this helps to streamline your processes can also help to automate all your workflows. And you also, there's an area where you can help to actually meet your security and compliance requirements. So the next area we're gonna look at is security itself. So in within GitHub, there's the ability to secure your code and manage access to it. And actually within the environment, depending on what uh, pricing plan you're thinking of, um, you can actually only give access to people you want. So if you have any sensitive or secretive info, uh, coding or stuff that you don't want generally the public to see, you can have it saved up there, secured, and manage the access and control over it. Also, another area is if you're using open source, you can check for any vulnerabilities and uh, have dependencies within your code. As discussed, um, this also helps when you can uh, use the uh, functionality that uh, GitHub has provided, where there's also the uh, repositories within uh, the environment that they have provided set up for you. Final thing um, was probably a good thing, um, which maybe not has always been realized, is that uh, GitHub has uh, the ability for project management. So if you've got large uh, teams or groups of people working, and some of them might not always be working in the same office, they might be working in different offices within your country or even in different countries or other parts of the world, um, you can use the GitHub functionality for the project management to help track all those projects, track um, how on time and the different deliverables that the different teams are developing on. So let's all move on to see what are the factors you should consider if you're actually thinking of using uh, GitHub. Right, we just uh, discussed there the productivity gains that you could get from using GitHub. So what I'm going to now look at is some of the factors that you're now seriously giving it serious consideration. Um, but some of the things just to consider what uh, could influence you on uptaking and implementing uh, GitHub within your organization. Okay, so obviously company size, um, bigger the organization, <laughs> 
And like anything, whether it's software development or anything, hard it becomes to control. So using GitHub will allow you to basically store and manage centrally in one repository. But um, essentially, the, the bigger your organization, you might need to split it out between country or between development areas. Um, when it comes to the tracker, track, should I say. So you need to consider the benefits of using GitHub on, on your sites. Um, there's a couple of factors that I'm going to talk about below, which may influence that. Um, well, as I said, bigger you become and the bigger your development projects and web cycles, it could could be tricky. The, the flip side of that is that uh, the productivity gains from having it central is that uh, certain parts of the organization might be able to use code from other parts of the organization. So there is a collaboration benefit there. So just something to consider. Productivity requirements. So it could be that um, the, your development uh, your department or an area that's actually worked in Agile, which basically means that you want a quick turnaround, um, you want quick, uh, basically, code reviews, bug, bug reviews, bug fixing. Um, and that's where the collaboration element of GitHub might come in handy for you. So just something to consider. Um, it really depends on projects. Some projects are longer, some take longer to develop and manage. Uh, some are shorter turnarounds. And it really depends on what you're working on, the type of product you're developing. So just something to consider. Complexity. Yeah, some projects could be highly complex and uh, it could be, well, GitHub won't necessarily not be able to help them uh, manage that. It just could be that certain parts of the project might have to stay off um, GitHub and some stay on. But you could probably pick and choose. You could just use for uh, uh, basically GitHub for, say, uh, bug tracking or bug fixing or code reviews and you keep all the development in hits. So, you know, there's a kind of a, a hybrid model there that you could use. So it really depends. Um, complex projects need a lot of time and management. And if you feel GitHub is not going to deliver that for you, well, maybe it's better off keeping the hits. Really depends on the project. So code IP. Next thing is obviously uh, GitHub allows you to basically store all your code. Um, private repositories, you can give access to only people that you want access to and see it. Um, what you could do is um, if your code IP is a high, within your organization is highly sensitive and it's something that you want to manage, is keep all the code, basically the main code or the code you want to protect in-house, but you use more um, GitHub more for basically bug tracking um, and code reviews and stuff like that. So just something to consider. Um, it really depends on the organization. Um, but as I said, as things are kept private, um, you should have a certain level of security and compliance there for your organization's needs. Next one, um, obviously, can be managed on how. So really kind of the previous three, four points, actually, this could negate all those. So if you're a big organization as well, you may actually already have the tools and techniques and the processes. So you need to look at those and compare and contrast them against what GitHub will get you. You may find that uh, GitHub might not be what you need. It's fine. Um, and that um, what you currently do in-house is um, basically uh, sufficient for your needs. Yeah, you know, there could be the collaboration and the bug tracking may may be able to be an element of GitHub that helps you there. It really depends on the organization. But uh, some organizations are quite sophisticated in their IT setup and how they track and manage all their code. And the final thing there is your budget. So um, GitHub is free in certain instances. It also has um, paid versions as well. So we're going to be doing a video on that um, on another stage. But it really depends on your budget. So if you've got a low budget, um, it might be the free version or just the first level up from that, which is what works for you. Um, but then if you're obviously higher budgets, you can garner enhance the uh, productivity and what the bigger budgets give you regards automation in the cloud and seeing how things work, bug tracking, collaboration, and so on and so forth. And obviously, that really depends as well. The amount of people you're trying to, uh, who are working for you, trying to track and manage all their work and everything around that. So the final thing we do is now is go and just look at the final step um, regards when you're making a decision on where to move to GitHub. So in summary, um, if I was to talk about GitHub and we were to use it, what would be the things that would encourage me to get on board? So here's a couple of things that spring to mind. 
So large number of users use the system daily, so it's well supported, well managed. Also, large and small companies uh, use the system, so it's well tested and its security and controls are very well uh, managed. They're owned by Microsoft, so um, the stability of the organization, the platform, and how it's controlled and managed into the future, uh, you can be guaranteed it should be okay and there should be no issues there. It's a very uh, great, very good, great platform for anybody working in the open source community um, who has developed code that may potentially have um, solutions to something that you're trying to implement within your organization. So uh, collaboration is made more manageable and bug tracking and fixing is easier to implement and collaborate on so you can get to a solution quicker. They also offer develop environments within the cloud, which allows you to test all your code in a, a live environment to make sure there's no vulnerabilities or bugs in when it goes before it goes into production. So if you liked today's uh, video, um, please hit the like and subscribe button. As I said at the start, we do weekly blog posts, video tutorials, and live streams. So thanks for coming along today. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you got some benefit out of it. Please share with your work colleagues, friends, anybody in the day on Linux who might have interest in it. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.